Late breaking news, a massive apartment fire near downtown Louisville. Dozens of firefighters now on the scene. We are live on the ground and in the air with the latest information. Good morning to you. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Alex Durham. And I'm Carrie Grace. We will check in on our forecast in a minute. But first, we are following that late breaking news. Firefighters are on the scene of a massive apartment fire in downtown Louisville. Our Madison Elliott is live at East Liberty and South Hancock Streets with the latest Madison. Hey guys, good morning. Well, the good news, nobody was hurt. So that's the first thing we want to report. Luckily, firefighters say they didn't have to rescue anyone. But now we're joined live by Captain Donovan Sims, the public information officer for the Louisville Fire Department. And Captain Sims, you were saying there were some challenges in fighting this fire. I mean, you have a lot of people living in one building. So what do firefighters face this morning? Right. So as, as we arrive on scene, we're, we're, we're surveying the scene and getting our size up to see what we have. And uh, companies quickly get inside the building, try to evacuate as many occupants as possible as they're searching for the fire. So while we're in the means of doing that, and we're, we're, we're getting people out, and then we see that we have fire coming through the roof, and we have to evacuate that structure completely, and including firefighter personnel. And we're fighting this fire in a defensive manner, meaning that we're on the exterior of the, uh, the building. We have our master streams, as you can see, in the air right now, still extinguishing the fire and all the hot spots that we can see from above. And one thing you mentioned to us earlier is that because of the size of this fire, you had to call in a lot more crews. And you said about three alarm fires. So what does that mean? So a three alarm fire, so our original uh, first alarm on fire is going to be four engines and two trucks. We had to hit that at two additional times. Wow. So we have companies coming from all across the, the, the city to respond to this, which also makes it difficult as far as getting those apparatus in place and set up to, to control the fire. And now we know nobody was hurt. You said no rescues happened. So that's some good news there. So right now, I mean, people, when we see them, it gets cold out. So that's another challenge, I'm sure, for fire. Yes, it is. It is very cold. And uh, we do have occupants that are being displaced. We're working with Metro EMS and Red Cross on uh, accounting for all those occupants. They have them in staging right now with Red Cross, and they're going to work on displa uh, a displacement set up for them. And that as far as people who drive around this area, I mean, we're in the heart of Nulu, so we're right near downtown. A lot of people passing through this area. We see this red tape taping off this building, and there's a lot of water around the streets as well, as you guys are still working on, on putting water on this uh, complex. So what is some good information for people to know, you know, if they're driving around downtown? Again, stay stay, stay outside of this area if you can. Uh, police, uh, LMPD has done a good job of setting up a good perimeter for us on all the surrounding uh, intersections here. Uh, where there is red tape, that's just a, a safety perimeter of saying stay out of this zone. Uh, we don't know if the building it will, you know, if there will be any possible collapse, but that's why we set up that safety zone as far out as we can so we can still operate and work and control the fire, but still have a safe perimeter. Well, thank you so much for joining us today here, Captain Sims. Guys, right now, firefighters still on scene, but again, we can report that nobody was hurt, so that is some good news there. Reporting live, Madison Elliott, WLKY News. Medicine, thank you so much. Our WLKY News Chopper has been flying high above the scene all morning with a bird's eye view of this situation. Yeah, uh, Bill, we know you've been up there for a while. There was massive smoke billowing from those apartments earlier. Uh, it appears a lot of that smoke is gone, but describe the scene when you first got there. Hey, good morning, Terry and Alex. Uh, yes, we're uh, in the Nulu area. Most folks uh, know where that is, uh, Hancock and Liberty. And when we arrived on this scene, uh, about uh, 7.30, about an hour and a half ago, there was massive amounts of smoke that was billowing out of this structure here. And at that point, there were still quite a lot of flames that were coming out. As you can see from this shot now, it looks like the Louisville Fire Department has uh, gotten this structure fire under control. Uh, the interesting thing that we saw earlier was the massive amount of water that was going on. There was perhaps a, a bad description, but the waterfalls of water coming out of these windows right here. And I imagine that uh, the fire department is going to be here uh, for the better part of today and continue to put hot spots out. Back to you guys. Thank you so much. And, you know, you can see there are still many hot spots there. We're mm -hmm. sure that there are going to be crews there all day monitoring that scene. 
We also heard from Donovan, you know, who is with the Louisville Fire Department, and he talked to us about uh, just how the building is, you know, still in danger. There's the possibility of collapse. So that's something that we're going to continue to watch throughout the day. And from that chopper footage there, you can see yeah. the top floor of those apartments, it looks like. It looks yeah, like you the can see right into there. It. And again, Bill also mentioned the water that was billowing mm -hmm. out of those windows. You can see just how much water was being put on that fire, right. uh, which was an, an incredible scene to see, but we're just glad everybody is safe.